So I wanted to speak briefly about psychedelics. Um, psychedelics is a new area of research within uh, psychiatry or, or neuropsychiatry. Um, although these uh, these these drugs have been around for a long time uh, across many different cultures and have been known to be uh, hallucinogenic, uh, so uh, you know creating hallucinations and also as having an, an impact on our brain um, and being. Um, you know, psychoactive. Um, so, uh, although these have been around for a long time, uh, what's been looking, what's been looked into lately, is exactly how they're working um, in a mood perspective and what sort of implications they could have for people who have treatment resistant. Uh, depression, so who, people who don't respond to antidepressant medications or therapy, um, and also in people who um, are dealing with very difficult sort of end-of-life discussions or difficult prognosis um, of a, a cancer diagnosis or something like that. So, um, so very briefly, and I, I want to say that, you know, um, this I'm just talking about this from a purely academic standpoint to look at what sort of uh, studies have been out there and have been published, but um, in no way with anything that I'm ever recording am I suggesting a treatment or, or saying that you should try these things. Um, you should definitely be um, discussing anything with your doctor, um, uh, and I just wanted to uh, sort of give a little rundown of, of the, you know, the, the ideas behind these uh, these different substances. So they work primarily through uh, these receptors in the brain that are related to serotonin. If you remember uh, the last time that we talked about the neuro the neurotransmitter serotonin. So there are these receptors for serotonin known as the uh, 5-HT2A receptors. And uh, these receptors have a lot of impacts throughout the body, but um, it's been found that they have an important impact on mood. Um, so there was this one study that was done. It was a randomized, double-blind crossover trial. Um, what they did in this uh, study is they took patients who had a recent cancer diagnosis, uh, it was a life-threatening cancer diagnosis, um, and what they did was they had uh, tried a treatment with psilocybin, which is the um, psychedelic um, feature of, of um, magic mushrooms, as they call them. And what was found is that in 80% of these um, of these people in the trial, uh, after about six months, they still had positive effects on their mood. So there was a positive effect on the mood, and it and it had a long duration. So that that was interesting and, and unique and important. Um, similarly, uh, there was a, an open trial, an, an open label trial uh, with only 12 uh, participants, and it was uh, looking at the treatment of treatment-resistant depression. So again, those people who had not been able to respond with antidepressants or with therapy, um, and they uh, were found to have lower levels of depression, anxiety, and anhedonia, which is the uh, inability to experience pleasure. Uh, and again, that was with psilocybin administration. So uh, while it's roughly understood that this is through the serotonergic 5-HT2A receptors, um, there is also this uh, likely sort of inflammatory or immune uh, aspect of psychedelics that, um, that is really important. Um, so firstly, uh, there, it's been shown that with um, psychedelics, um, that are of sort of the amphetamine variety, which I won't get into, but uh, there was a study where uh, there was decreased TNF-alpha release and decreased IL-6, and these are both inflammatory markers uh, in the body that were decreased with the um, consumption of the, of the psychedelic. Um, and so the, uh, and then there was um, a mouse study that showed uh, something similar with the um, amphetamine Psychedelics. So um, the the idea here is that uh, it may be exerting at least partially some of the antidepressant effect through the um, through the anti-inflammatory effect that's happening as well. So um, again, this is uh, just a small sliver, um, focusing mostly in the beginning on the psilocybin. Um, uh, there are several different uh, psychedelics uh, like LSD, uh, mescaline. And these um, all are work through somewhat similar mechanisms, uh, but nonetheless, um, this 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 is an area that is growing. Um, it's an area that I'm going to be you know reading up on and staying um, 
staying up to date on, and uh, I would invite you to as, as well, um, just to just to know, you know, what's developing here. It's um, it's interesting.